Now that you've created your scoreboard page and your instructions page, you need to create an answer and a question page. Remember in Jeopardy, participants are provided with an answer and they must respond with a question. So, follow me over to the left menu, right click and select New Slide. And again, New Slide. You've now created two new slides. This first slide will be the answer page and the second one's going to be the question or the correct response. As you can see, I've created an answer page. I inserted a text box and for now I just put type the answer here. And down the bottom of the slide, I've made another button so that participants can click on this and check their response. This button hyperlinks to the next slide. On the question page, I simply made another text box, type the question here, and down the bottom of the page I made an arrow button, and this hyperlinks back to our score page, as you can see here. So in this process, we see the answer, we can check the answer, and on the page with the correct response, we can click back to the scoreboard. The next step in the process requires us to make questions and answer slides for each of the scores on our scoreboard. This is quite simple. Follow me over to the left menu again. Select your answer and question slides. Hold the shift button to select them both. Copy. And now simply paste. And you can see we have two new slides. Now if my math serves me correct, you need to make a total of 42 slides. So keep pasting until you reach 42 slides. Now there are 42 slides total in my Jeopardy game. Let's go back up to the scoreboard. Now we must create a hyperlink from the score to the appropriate slides. To do this, select the score, right click, hyperlink, and choose the slide from the list. In this case, it's slide three. Click OK. However, you can see now our hyperlink is a default blue, which we cannot see on our blue button we need to change the hyperlink colors. Follow me up to Format, Slide Design. On the Slide Design menu, choose Color Schemes. At the bottom of the Color Schemes menu, select Edit Color Schemes. In the box that appears, on the left you will see the last two options are hyperlinked, and you will see the blue default. I want to change this one to a nice yellow color. So I select the blue, change color, and select my yellow. Click OK. Now all my hyperlinks will appear yellow. In the Jeopardy game, I want my visited links or the questions that have been answered to appear a dark blue so that they are a little more camouflaged on the button. So select the purple, change color, select the blue, click OK. Now, the important thing is to press the Apply button. And you will see now, my hyperlink is yellow. What we must do now is go through all of our scores and hyperlink them to the appropriate slide number. In this situation, it is going to be every odd number. Go ahead and do that for all of your scores. So as you can see, I've added in the hyperlinks on all of my scores 
and each one goes to the appropriate slide. Let's go and have a look at what our Jeopardy game looks like. Press F5 on your keyboard. Here I am at my Jeopardy game. If I click one by one, the instructions appear. Or I can skip the instructions. Here I am at my scoreboard. I can click on any score number and it will take me to the answer page. I can check my answer. It takes me to the question page. The question button takes me back to my scoreboard. Also at the bottom of the page you will notice the scores can be typed in below each team accordingly and the players can keep up with their score during the game. Now we've actually created quite a lot in our Jeopardy. What we're going to do is we're going to save it as a template. That way we will be able to open this file and add our own questions any time we want. You'll notice that I've named things as categories 1, 2, 3, 4, which means when we open this file we'll be able to invent new categories. Additionally, on the answer pages we'll be able to make new Jeopardy games with different answers and different questions. So to save your file as a template, go up to File, Save As, Give your file a name. I'm calling mine Jeopardy Master. Below that it says Save File Type. Choose Design Template. Now you'll notice it's changed where you want to save the file. So I'm going to save mine at the desktop. Click Save. Now if I go to my desktop you will see that I have a Jeopardy Master. This is my template. If I double click on this, and on my computer by default it opened PowerPoint 2007, but you can still see that in the top menu bar here it says Presentation 1, not Jeopardy Master. This means whenever we want to make a new Jeopardy game, we just have to double click on Jeopardy Master.